Hey, fighters. Okay, so check this out. I say this and I say it with absolute conviction. Tucker Carlson is arguably the most dangerous person in American media, and I'm not even joking or being hyperbolic. The way he masks his nefarious agenda in populist rhetoric is nothing short of Ocean's Eleven style, con artist level brilliant. Then there are times where he just skips the con and muddies the conversational waters with blatant untruths. Take, for instance, what he said about George Floyd, a man whose death sparked protests worldwide. He said that George Floyd died from an overdose of fentanyl, and he called that a fact. A fact. But the actual fact is that not one, but two autopsies, one conducted by the county medical examiner's office and the other, an independent autopsy conducted by doctors Alicia Wilson and Michael Baden, literally ruled Floyd's death a homicide. And who committed that homicide? All right, former Minneapolis police officer, Derek Chauvin. So unless Derek Chauvin is an actual drug and his middle name is fentanyl, Tucker Carlson just flat out blatantly lied to his audience. But see, that's the scary part. The most dangerous thing about Tucker Carlson, particularly from his hosting perch on Fox quote unquote news, is how he uses his platform. Think about it. If you've ever watched even one of his segments and are well versed in how carefully crafted language can be used as a positive force or a negative weapon, then you've clearly noticed how Tucker uses populism to gradually and unknowingly move people to agreement with fascism. Is actually brilliant and simultaneously one of the most dangerous things I've ever seen a host of any show not only do, but absolutely master. The question is, with the combination of his media reach, influence, information delivery technique, and purported news credibility making him arguably the most dangerous person in American media, do you think Tucker Carlson has been honing his verbal weapon skills for a much bigger purpose? You tell me. Don't forget to like and subscribe.